than it already is. You know, just the dexterity involved in such a thing. You know, it would be ridiculous, you know. Yeah. Don't you know her name is Crafteria? I figured out a secret. She's an octopus. I said Crafteria. She's an octopus, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it is. figured out a secret. I always wondered how she could make all her crafts so fast. Turns out she's got eight tentacles. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday Night Live. Hello, hello. Let's see, I'm not adjusting my camera. Sorry about that. Okay. Welcome in, Agnes. Um, one of my awesome channel members. I appreciate you very much. Angela, my cheerleader. Carol, uh, Destalou, Susan, happy belated birthday. Glad you're joining me on your birthday little mini vacation. Pretty awesome. I have a couple dogs hanging out here. Um, we're going to play Mad Libs today, of course, and... I have one picked out of the Golden Girls book, and um, uh, I thought that would be fun for tonight, so you know what that means. It means I need a volunteer. If someone would like to volunteer, please type the word volunteer in chat. I'll be gentle with you, Angela, I promise. No, I won't pick on you in any bad sort of way. And the way we do Mad Libs here is 
I'll call for whatever the word is we need. You all put them in the chat and the volunteer picks one. And um, whatever the volunteer picks will go into the story. So like if Angela volunteers, for example, I would be very nice to her. <laughs> but I understand if you have a headache and you cannot volunteer. And if nobody volunteers, I usually kind of do my best, but it kind of breaks up the show a little bit because I have to scroll back up and see the words and see what I missed. And it's kind of chaos. I did make these doggies um, yesterday or not. Well, yesterday I made this one, the white one over the past week on Twitch. They're really cute. They are Lego doggies from one of the three in one dog sets. <gasps> Oh no, I took the dog's head off. Nobody look, quick, nobody look. I took the dog's head off. Hold on. Let me let me fix the dog. No, no dogs were harmed. No dogs were harmed in the making of this stream, I promise. Just because his head came off doesn't mean he's harmed. He is perfectly fine. Look at that. Please, please do not contact the ASPCA saying that I uh, chopped off a dog's head, okay? Don't, none of this, no. But anyway, we have this poodle and look at the really cool collar that they have. And it's like a metallic piece. It's plastic, but it looks metallic. And all of the dogs have the collar with the little bone on it. Their eyes have some metallic around them. The gray part is metallic. They're so cute. Their ears move. Their heads <laughs> move and sometimes come off. All of the legs move. The feet move. The tails move. They're really cute. And then, of course, there's this one. This is Jonah. Thank you, Angela. This one here is Jonah. It's the beagle. And so cute. It reminds me of Jonah. And he also, all of them have the cute collar, but like the tongue is sticking out. And the tail is so cute. I love these dogs. I've left them on my desk and... Um, I think they're really cute. I have to find a good place on a shelf for them. So let's start with our first word. I'm gonna leave Jonah there for a second. And um, the first word that we need for the Mad Lib is noun. And what? We only need one noun in the whole story. One noun. Can you even believe it? And for the past two weeks, Todd has been in India. He came home last Friday, this past Friday, and he brought me some stuff. But one of the things he brought me is this beautiful blinged up peacock. And I think it's made of metal. Can you hear that? This is now an ASMR stream. Let me hit it with my scissors. <laughs> no peacocks were harmed. Can you hear that? It's metal. It's very heavy. This thing, I don't know how much it weighs. A lot. It weighs many pounds. Um, not many pounds. Maybe a pound. Welcome in, Christine. Good to have you, my awesome moderator and channel member i appreciate you but anyway this is really cool and it'll go it'll sit on um one of our shelves out in the other room blinged out peacock he also got me um this uh keychain this peacock keychain. He got me some other hanging peacocks and another hanging ornament, typical of India style that has like some elephants on it. It's really pretty. Um, I hung that off the man on the mantle of the, um, um, you know, the thing in the house that has the mantle, the fireplace. 
<laughs> you, you know, whatever part of my house has a mantle, you know, <laughs> that's where I hung it. And the other two um, uh, peacocks have a longer hanger. So I hung them off. I have these little hooks on the bookshelf and I hung them there. But it's really cool. Very cute. All right. You were here 40 years ago. Oh, I see. To the place, not to my stream. My stream was not here 40 years ago. I don't even, YouTube wouldn't have been here 40 years ago. 20 years ago, yes, but not 40. I was not streaming that long ago. All right. I'm assuming YouTube was here 20 years ago. We do need a noun for the Mad Lib. So everyone put your nouns in the chat. Oh, I must have bumped this. Let's fix that and make it perfecto. And I don't like when it's crooked. So we're going to go here with Mad Lib. And now, there we go. All right. So we are looking for nouns, just one. And of course, I have no idea what I'm doing today. And I'm almost out of card bases. Did I make more before the stream? Absolutely not. No, I did not. Um, I did grab some new cards out of my drawer because uh, they're all upside down. I thought it would be fun to just add something new to my stuff. I grabbed that one. And then these are ones that we get from the... Um, Ross County Humane Society because we donate to them. And I thought he was so cute and I could remake them into new cards. Those are actual dogs that have been up for adoption. And those are kind of cool. I can maybe do something with those. There's a couple like this. This one's kind of cute. I've had that one out before and those dogs were cute. These flowers are neat and see that one these kind of remind me of each other. Well, one is roses, one is tulips. But um, they might be good, you know, for something. And then there's this. Like, I wouldn't send it for a dear son and daughter. I don't have a son and daughter. I don't have a son or a daughter. But the picture's pretty. And then there's a lot of blue on the background. And this one's also pretty. Um... I would probably cut out the flowers and do something with those separately. So anyway, there, I grabbed those. Um, I still have this hanging out. I don't know what to do with it. And then all of the other cards that I've had out recently. Let's see what I have here. Let's, let's go through my mess. I have envelopes. Oh no, these are Christmas cards that all match. So I have those. I have some Crafty Rhea stickers. I have those. Sun sunflowers. Listen to me. I was reading the chat where it said sunflower. <laughs> it's just <laughs> snowflakes. I have some of these. I have it's just some random stuff that I've kind of just accumulated. I really like her. I like that. That's a neat background. And then there's this stuff. Whoops. So there are those things. I thought I had more. I thought I had a big bag. I mean, I know I had a big bag. I just don't know where where my big bag is. So I'm I'm gonna wing it without the big bag. I do have some card bases though that are not the Ohuhu card bases. They are more plain card bases. So at least I do have card bases. I ordered a new set of the Ohuhu. I went through 100. Hello, Pedro. This is giving you Art Deco. Well, maybe I should do something with that. I don't really know how to make Art Deco, but um, that too. I'm just grabbing stuff 
that I have. Oh, I have something else that I got in the mail today. It just came a few minutes ago. Let me grab it. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. There is a streamer that I watch on Twitch. I just ordered 100, Angela. I ordered my first 100 in November. So between November and now, I went through 100 of the A2 size. Of course, I make all sorts of sizes, so it's not just that. And Pedro, we need a noun for the uh, for the chat. I got this package in the mail today. On Twitch, I follow a um, crafter named Zebra Acrylics. And she, I call her Zebra. She paints acrylics. And I think I showed you the big portrait, <laughs> Sir Preston portrait, my big peacock that she made. I ordered from her Etsy store. Well, she had a thing going. If you went into her stream on Twitch and said something or other, um, you could win a free emote. Turns out the emote that she made for free is one that she actually paints on canvas. And she asked me what I wanted it to be. I happened to be the winner. And I said, well, a peacock, of course. And then she said, do you want it abstract or a traditional or whatever? And I said, do what you want, whatever you want. Um, Angela, stop it. I didn't rip the poodle's head off on purpose. No, no, no. I'll show you the poodle. The poodle is fine. But anyway, I said, anything you want to do is fine with this peacock. So she painted this for me and sent it to me, but also gave me the digital file. So there is this peacock, and I had no idea when she painted it that it was metallic. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the sheen. It is so pretty in person. But I have it as an emote on my Twitch channel, because on Twitch you can do all sorts of emotes. Uh, more so than I can on YouTube. YouTube, I can only put a couple, and they're only for channel members, so it's it's a little different. Um, but Twitch, I can put a ton of emotes. But anyway, there is this one. So pretty, and it is metallic, and it has some dimension. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I think it's picking up the dimension. So pretty, and that's going to hang. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to do a whole peacock wall, because I have some peacock... Um, things diamond paintings and see like that she does like the pour kind of where it goes over the edge it's really cool but now I have several peacocks to hang on the wall and this is her info um, she has an Etsy store zebra acrylics designs if you google that you can get to her she has really nice stuff her prices are very reasonable for art <clears throat> right 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 Pedro make it a peacock you know if you painted me anything I would be thrilled okay so um she also sent a goodie bag and in here we have this pen it says choose joy and in this little bag look at this guy he's so cute and he has like his hands will hold something, I think, and his arms move and his legs move. I will try not to pop the head off or anything like that, but so cute. And there is this, look at this, post-it notes. Are they really post-it notes that are this small? There's no way. Is that really, I have to look now. Is this such a thing? I have rated her. Yes. These are post-it notes. Oh my goodness. Look at that tiny post-it note. You've got to be kidding me. I have never seen anything like this. I have to measure it. It is three quarters of an inch. Holy moly. These are so cute. I can't get the rest out, but 
anyway, there you can see that they're in there. That's really cool. Let me put these back in. I love the tiny little. So she sent me these as some extra goodies. Tiny writing, I know. They would be good to mark my um pages in here because I use a big one. Maybe the little one would work. I don't know. Might be too small. By the way, we need nouns, you guys. Last call for nouns. Put them in the chat. And I will put this away so I can show it off. I haven't shown it to my Twitch world. Because I just got it. It just came today, like right before the show. So, very cool. Okay, Mr. Peacock, you go You go in. And she has her card tucked in the back, too, and I will leave it there. And she signed it, too, so that is awesome. Very cool. Go check her out, you guys. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel. Do you know, Angela? But she has um, a Twitch channel and also an Etsy store. So, there. All right. So, now I have to decide what I'm going to do what I'm going to make. I have this too. It's a shaker box. Somebody made, I didn't make the shaker box. Somebody else made it. But what could I do on this? Art Deco. I don't know that I have anything that would work. I don't really know how to do Art Deco stuff, you guys. I am not, I am not versed in the Art Deco things. silver that's not going to work i need gold and maybe something on top of the art deco i just like saying art deco what's in this bag oh that's easter i was looking for these easter cards for the longest time but it's too late now to make easter cards Right? Easter is, when is Easter? Sunday. Let me see what I have here. I could make last minute Easter cards. Is it too late, you guys? I think it's too late to make Easter cards, although I love this front one. I knew I had, I was looking for this purple Easter card. I knew it. Do I have an image that would work on this? I have no idea. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Here's more of the cards I have. Let's see. Let me see here. I'm going to put this here. You guys let me know if you see something that would work on there. No. No. I don't want anything too big. Welcome in, Carla. And then we already went through these. I might have to set this aside and save it for another day. Caterpillar. Okay. All right. I like it. Caterpillar's good. All right, the next word we need, let's do a verb. We're going to need a million verbs, so let's do half of them. One, two, three, four. Let's do three verbs for now. We'll come back and do the other three later. So everyone put some verbs in the chat. Now this card has some rough edges over here, so I'm going to have to cut it very close to the um the gold edge there like as close as i can really <clears throat> and then i'm gonna have to trim all of the other edges to match because i don't want too much black on one side and not enough black on the other side so we have that i'm gonna have to go through my stickers and see if I can find something 
All right, so we have that guy. Now, I have these handy. There might, I have some butterflies that have gold in them. Let's see what I have handy. And we'll just go through. That's too colorful. Those are not what I was thinking of. I have those. I still don't think that's right. <clears throat> These are the ones I was thinking of. I have those and I have those. Ooh, I have these stars. Let me see what is pleasing to the eye. Butterflies, ooh, ooh. All right, so let's start with these gold butterflies. I have this set of gold butterflies and they're on a clear background. So that's how those would look on there. Not necessarily the way they are on the paper, but there is this one that is black and gold, which is perfect. And then maybe these two, the pink, and the blue and that black maybe those three what do you think what do you think Pedro I need your help here what or what does the rest of you think how many verbs six total we'll start with three so everyone put a bunch unless we get six really good ones but we don't need to rush I also have these, as you can see, I haven't really even opened them. That's a cool idea. Okay. I have these. As you can see that. Now, they're probably, by itself, might not show up. Well, I don't know. That looks pretty cool, actually. All right, so what do you think? This, These are holographic butterflies or these... I'll call these gold butterflies. Which do you think would go? Pink for cool, sure, like the pink? I'm not sure. You guys tell me. I have a whole pack of these holographic ones. And then these, these are three dimensional. They're thick. I also have some ribbon. Let's see what we have for ribbon. That might help us mix them up. Should turn out cool. Okay, I could put a little bit of each. I can mix things up. So here I have <laughs> my stash of ribbon. So let's see. I've got this gold because, you know, it is black and gold. I think some of that gold ribbon might be perfect. I don't think the other colors of ribbon would do it justice. I really do need to neaten. I need to neaten up my craft room, you guys. All right, so we have some ribbon. Let's see if this fits on a card base. Let's get a five by seven card base. I could mix them up. We're just winging it here, you guys. That's what we do. I always wing it though, anyway. I need to move this guy out of the way. You go over there. You lay on my desk and you dogs. Oh, by the way, I was gonna show the dogs. We have the beagle. 
to prove that I did not harm these dogs, Pedro. This one and this one where somebody said I may have taken, I may or may not have pulled the head off. I'm not going to say either way, but there. I may or may not have. Let me put these guys on the floor. My chair is very squeaky. All right, you dogs, you stay there. Do not fall apart. I also have these stars. Let's see. My <laughs> too many choices. That's right, the Moodle's device was exaggerated, yes. I also have these stars, but they don't show up on here very well. I'd have to, I could mat them on black, on a black background, and then maybe the stars would pop. I think I like the butterflies with this design better than the stars, though. I like the butterflies better. Because there, uh, there's like flowers and leaves, and it's just more, I think it's more butterfly friendly. It doesn't make me think of stars. It makes me think of butterflies. All right, so we have this background. We have an eight by, five by seven background which of course I am going to trim unless unless we think it would be good to put ribbon here I know ribbon here and here maybe do I have enough yes I have enough okay let's do that so I'm going to put, I'm going to start by putting ribbon, the bottom and the top. And then I believe the card will fit in between. Okay. That's what I'm going to do, you guys. That's what I'm going to do. Whoopsie. Sorry about that, if that was noisy. I whacked my mic stand and the whole thing went flying. Okay, we're good, though. We're good. We do need some verbs in the chat, you know, like whack, whacked the mic stand. Okay. Beheaded the dog. All right. Glowered, flipped, catapult, and bite. Might have to be glower, glower. All right. Or, okay, glower, I'll put glowered, all right, flip, catapult, and bite. Okay. And the next word we need, oh, we'll still need three more verbs later. So keep that in mind. But if we do them all now, the Mad Lib will be over very quickly. So we're gonna hold off on those other three. Let's do some adjectives and we need one, two, three, we need four adjectives. When these um, Mad Libs have a million of one type of word, there's not a lot of room or not a lot of time needed to complete it the way that we do them. Oh, and by the way, you guys, next Monday. Do you know what next Monday is? Yeah, I counted wrong. There's a lot of words in there, and sometimes I miss them. And sometimes I count wrong because I'm trying to do it fast. But, um, yeah. Um, next Monday, do you know what it is? 
Next Monday is April Fool's Day. And I have a fun stream. No, adjectives, hang on, I don't remember now. I was recounting verbs. One, two, three, four adjectives. Unless I counted wrong, and then we'll fill them in later. <laughs> Monday is um, April Fool's Day, and we're going to have a fun stream. I have some fun stuff planned for April Fool's Day. You'll want to be here for sure, because it'll be chaos and fun. Angela knows what some of the things I'm going to do is. If you've been in my Twitch streams, you will know, because I've, I've mentioned it, but I'm going to keep it a secret until next Monday. It'll be fun. It's going to be chaos. Crafting chaos, April Fool's style. Yep. It will be fun, I promise. Fun will be had by all, except maybe me. No, it will be fun. It's going to be torture on me. Fun for you, torture for me. So if you would like to see me tortured on stream live, tune in next Monday. If you want to have a lot of laughs, <laughs> and watch me try to do stupid things while I'm crafting. It will be crafting. Join us next Monday. It'll be a stream like no other. We'll do a Mad Lib for sure. And um, other stuff. Crafting and chaos. All right, so there we go. I may not like it so much. I absolutely may not like it so much. Correct. Because it's going to be hard for me. Torture. I want this to be on top of the background. All right. There we go. So we have this background. I'm going to use this to really burnish this down, make sure they are down good. Get rid of any of the little bits of glitter hair left on my desk. And I don't know that I like what is showing on the edges there. I could probably fix that. I have, I know, I have a gold pen. I could draw gold on that gold, or I could add stickles at the end. That would be good. All right, so let's see. We have this. We have this guy. So we have that guy, we have this little black guy, which is really cute and matches so well. And the pink, I like the pink with it. And I need one more up here. So maybe the blue, let's do the blue over here. There, these four, I'm not sure. Maybe one more of these, these. Or maybe one of these. Hang on, I could mix them all up in here. Oh yes, because that's a smaller size. And that one's pretty small. 
So let me put this one over here, that guy towards the middle, and that one up there, maybe up a little bit higher. And this guy there, or maybe angled that way. I think I will just do that. I like the way that looks, actually. And which is the front, which is the back. This is the back. And is this a sticker? Let me see. Are these stickers? Do they say on here? Mirror, mirror. Can anybody read that? <laughs> Can you read the language on here? Are they stickers? I do not know. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to bend the corner here and find out. Are they stickers or not? Do I have to put tape on the back? They are stickers, which is great because I don't like putting tape on the back of something that is clear. Because many times the tape will show. So we have that guy on there. All right, there we go. What do you think, Pedro? If you're still here, let me know what you think. I'm really not an art deco artist. I have I don't ever do art deco. But it's kind of cool. I will have to add some stickles though to cover up the white. I don't like the white showing. If you just heard a weird noise, it was my shoe. <laughs> I have my foot bent over the bottom of my chair and I moved it and I wear Crocs. So they're kind of like, you know, the rubbery plastic shoes. And it went right along my chair. So if you heard that, that was my shoe singing a song to you. It sounded like one of those slide whistles. I don't know if you guys could hear that. All right, let me get my stickles. I have gold. Problem is, I'm gonna make a mess. I just know. All right, this one here, oh, this is a dark gold. This is goldenrod. Oh, we have some words to put in the story. Let me do that before I open the stickles. Damp, gooey, gassy, of course, gassy. Damn. <laughs> no, 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 no. Damn. This is so bad. Damp, gooey, great. Because of the way that those first two words are used and by who they are being said by, it's hysterical. Gassy and greasy. It would be good if they were reversed. Okay, but they are not reversed, and that's okay still. All right, the next word we need, we're almost done with the Mad Lib. We need two animals. No, because it's not fair to, re to reverse them, because then it would be like I'm cheating on the Mad Lib. This is a plain piece of paper. This will work. Trying to not make too much of a mess.
No, no, why, why are you doing this, Jimmy Stickles? Why are you doing this? The gold ones are always really bad. The gold glitter flakes, I think, are larger than other glitter flakes. And they always clog up the, uh, the tip. That's much better. It hides the stark white line. I'm going to put a, a strip of it down this side, too, just to make it look like it's supposed to be there. Do you guys notice that with gold stickles? They, it clogs way more than other all, any of the other colors, really. All right, I'm gonna try not to make a mess with that, and that looks much better without the white showing. I'm gonna put this back. And put this back. Pen. I had to borrow the pen. Okay. There we go. So that card is done. That it was fun. Fun, fun to make. And I'm going to put it, let me put it there. Do not move card. Do not make a mess. And look, I didn't even get any on this piece of paper. Very cool. Bonus. Bonus that I did not get any on the paper. All right, put my stickles back up on my shelf. Okay, let's put these away. Put these back in my, my sticker box. So we can move on to the next thing that we are going to make. All right. I have a lot of those. I don't want to use that. That just says with thanks. And it has butterflies, though. That's kind of a cool card front. Don't I have another card with that type of flower? Let me see if they would go good together. Just out of curiosity. No, they would they would compete with each other, I think. I don't know. I thought this was more of an abstract background, but it is not. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think it would work together. They almost look similar. Let me try. Let's try. I'm going to play around. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I have no plan. I have no plan whatsoever. Get a drink of my drink. That I do have a plan for. All right. Let me trim this up. Just trim that edge off. It's a rough edge where it was torn off the front of the card. Get this five by seven card base. Ooh, and that pretty much fits there. So let me trim the edge a little bit on that side and a little bit more on that side. Yep. A little bit more on that side. Well, 
what is a quokka? Quokka. And a poodle moth. I've never heard of a poodle moth. What about you guys? Hey, hey. Hey, 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 I've got an idea. I've got an idea. You guys, I have an idea. What is a quokka? Quokka. How do you even say it? Oh, this isn't going to come off neatly. I was hoping this would come off neatly, but it's not. There. So, messy, messy, messy. I have an idea. I have an idea. Quokka, Quokka, and Fox. and fox. All right. Then the next word we need is um, three more verbs. And then that's all the words. So let's, we can take our time with the last three words there. All right. I am going to native to Australia, but what is it? Is it the, is it like that little rat you posted? Mouse? A sm oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. A small macropod about the size of a domestic cat. Okay. All right, so I cut that out. It's a mess, but I'm going to fix it. Because I want to keep this border. Because we're going to use this border on the card. They, <laughs> I folded the card, and it, it came apart very much easily but let's see how much do i need to trim off not a lot not a lot so i'm going to take just a little sliver off of this side because that side was my messy side all right i'm gonna put that here i don't know if i want a white border i don't think so because I'm not going to have room because this card is bigger that way. And then this will go, yeah. All right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my adhesive on here. some on the center part here. Oh, of a small kangaroo. This is animal biology class, by the way, where we learn what these uh, words mean. All right, eight. Now this bottom part is larger than the top part. So I need to put this, I can't cut anything off of the side because that is the fold. So I'm going to put this against the fold, but I wanna to try to Line it up. Oh, it's got to be closer this way. All 
That I think is going to work. And then, because I'm going to pinch off that much. Yeah, that I think is going to be just about right. I'm going to trim this excess off there and trim the top portion there. So there is that. I need just a sliver more off of this side. There. Okay. Poodle moths are fuzzy white moths native to Venezuela. This is such pretty paper. All right, so I have that. That's step one. This is just a nice piece of white cardstock, which can go in my stash. This, I am going to cut my messy piece off and just keep that for a sentiment if I want it for an anniversary card. I'm not going to put it in this card because this card could be used for just about anything. But I'll put that where I have a box of sentiments. That other pink paper is going in the trash. Then I have this. Well, no. Next. Next I have this. And I have to decide how big or how little I want it. I can take as much off the bottom as I want. So I'm going to take a little bit off the sides. That might be a good a good ratio. I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom because the bottom's the boring part, you know. It's pretty plain. It's it's pretty plain down there at the bottom. So there we have that background. I think that looks quite nice the way it is. I could even use this. I could put that on the inside and then I'm going to fussy cut this out. I don't have my good, where's my good fussy cut scissors? I do not know. I'm going to use these. These, will, these are fine. I'll probably leave a little bit of a white border because it's just easier that way. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. You're right, Carol's stream. She probably needs to advance, move her slider all the way to the end because she's watching old stuff. And I couldn't put the black butterfly on the inside of the card because it was three dimensional. And it would have um, made the card very lumpy. I don't like putting 3D embellishments on the inside of a card. Flat embellishments, yes, but not 3D. All right. I have a song stuck in my head and it's driving me crazy. I keep humming it in my head as I'm working. I really need my cutter bee scissors. Would be better for this. Where would they be? Are they in here? Hang on. No. They are way down in the bottom. There we go. I like these scissors, but I like these better. These cutter bee scissors, I don't know if you guys can see. See that yellow? 
I have worn through the black. I've had these for so many years and have used them so much. I really need a new pair. I love the Cutter B scissors. They are my favorite and they're still very, very sharp even after years and years of use, probably 20 years I've had these. Very long time. But I use them, I like them for fussy cutting stuff like this because the blades are small and they can get right into where I need them to go. It's about grapes. Nope, that's not the song I have stuck in my head. Got any grapes? Do you guys know that song? Do you know the song? It's a duck and he goes to the lemonade stand and he asks, got any grapes? You guys, it's called the duck song. Look it up. It's fun. You guys will love it. You will love me for telling you about that song. But no, that's not the song that's stuck in my head. I do love that song, though. Waddle, 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 waddle. You certainly, well, you must know about it a little bit because you just said it. Some streamers on Twitch do it. That's how I first heard of it. The song stuck in my head is a song that I'm learning how to play on the guitar, complaining about while I'm learning it, but learning it anyway. All right. I'm going to have to use my blade and cut that piece out. Yeah, uh, some of the streamers, there's a few female streamers. I don't remember who I first heard sing it. Maybe Becca? I don't remember. But um, it's a really cool song. And I think it would be easy to play on the guitar. I think the chords are reasonable. I'll have to check it out. It's my niece, Emma, loves that song. It's her favorite song. And they will be here in a couple weeks. So maybe I should learn it. So there we have that so far. I think I need to cut out that piece of white from the center. And of course, I'm going to have to use my blade. Welcome in Super Mega Tacos. Put exclamation point tacos in the chat. Oh, I don't know. Maybe she played it when I was there because maybe I said something. I don't know. I love that song though. There we go, you guys. Go follow Super Mega Tacos on Twitch. He's an awesome streamer. He doesn't stream enough. But that's okay. We do what we do as much as we want to do. All right, so I have this. That's where, oh, it worked. Bob worked, but it's still broken up into two pieces. I don't know why. So I don't know. Maybe if I put this up on um, humpers. That might work. If I put it up on humpers, it'll be 3D. I'm holding it off screen. I'm sorry, you guys. That might actually work. I'll put it down towards the front and I'll put it on humpers. We're just going to do it. It's going to work whether we want it to or not. You have seen him only one time, Bob or tacos. I know you've seen Bob more than once. 
I know things. All right. Let's put this. It is too long for YouTube. What's too long for YouTube? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it could be. Too long for one comment in YouTube. It's probably correct. All right. I am going to... I see what you're saying. Yes. Could very well be. Put some of these humpers on the back of this. I don't think it's ever worked right in YouTube. I'm going to have to figure it out. It works on Twitch just fine, but not on YouTube, which is very weird. At least it's working. It wasn't working the other day. So I put regular tape on the very bottom of this because I want it to... I want that to be stuck down, but the rest of it I want to pop up. And I'm going to take my finger and just, I could, I could use this too, and curl these leaves a little bit just to give them some dimension. There. So they, they are exaggeratedly curled, but they'll flatten out once I put them down. And then, of course, I need to peel the backing paper off of the humpers correctly. Try that again. There we go. Tacos, I hope you are having a wonderful evening. Thank you for popping in to say hi. Much appreciated. All right. Boy, this doesn't want to give up the backing at all. Come on now. There we go. Let's do it. Okay. And I'll put this down here and put that there in the middle. Actually, it looks pretty cute in person. Maybe I should have offset it, but. You just finished practicing your guitar. You've been a really good tacos. Extra crunchy tonight. Good, good. I practiced my guitar before the stream. And I have my song, a song that I've been practicing, tacos knows what it is, stuck in my head. And it's making me crazy. I just mentioned that it was stuck in my head, but I didn't tell anybody what the song was. I will put this kind of over here. There we go. Tacos takes guitar lessons from Bob as well. He is very good. And he and I have been um, jamming together online. It's quite fun. So, there. All right, so there, I have that. <laughs> it's a good song. See, we're not going to say what the song is. I may post it in my Discord if I ever get it up, up to speed. I'm too slow at it yet. I'm... Um, it should be at 107 beats per minute, and I'm at 80. <laughs> I can kind of do the chords at 107, but I can't play the melody at 107 yet. So there we have this flower. It needs something though. It needs, it needs an embellishment. I have these buttons. Well, maybe it needs a butterfly instead of a button. Although this one looks kind of cool. I think it still maybe needs a butterfly. Let's 
yeah, this one of these. One of these butterflies up there. There we go. That is good. That will work. I don't have very many dragonflies, Angela. But I do have that butterfly. I think that will work. I have some dragonflies, but they're huge mungus, I think. All right. All right, and let me see. We need, we stood the last words for the um, huge mungus. Exactly. That's exactly what I said, Angela. Um, the last word we need for the Mad Lib are three verbs. Three more verbs. I know we started with verbs and we're ending with verbs. So put your favorite verbs into the chat. We are taking our time. I'm just saying it again. Because that's the last word. And it's only eight, eight something. I liked that little girl. She's cute. And I haven't done a Christmas card today. Oh, and I forgot about the dog. And then we have the, the rose and the tulips. And those tulips. And those. There's too many choices, you guys. Too many. All right. Let's put that back. Do them all. <laughs> Every single one. St stay on stream until I'm done with all of them. They'll eventually all get done. I kind of like these tulips. They're springy. Oh, wait, I have another tulip, don't I? This. Let me see something. We could go with this theme here, I think. What if I fussy cut? Oh, but if I fussy cut these... Then, you know, it's a very long stream of me just fussy cutting. I'll fussy cut on another day, but I'm going to put these tulips all together. Let me get this Easter, because I feel like it goes very slow if I fussy cut. And if I do very many, I love this card, if I do a lot of fussy cutting at once, then it's it's too much. Welcome in, Janet. Those are so cute. Okay. We used um, an Australian animal in the story already, Janet. I don't remember the name of the Australian animal. But Ange could put it in there for you. Oh, that's going to have to be a big... A big card base. We're gonna go all five by sevens today. All five by seven, all the way. Tacos, do you know who Janet is? <coughs> yes, Quoka, Quaka. Quoka. Very rare. Oh, yes, that is Samba, in case you didn't know. And if if Angela tells you I took a head off of a dog, I ripped a head off a dog, she is exaggerating. I did not rip a head off of a dog. Did not do it. It was an accident. It, 
was not in nothing was intentional no dogs were harmed today in my stream at all just saying so we're gonna do some Easter because you know uh, how big this way okay Yes, that'll work. And I wanted to keep this piece as big as I could because it has the cool color on the other side. Verbs. We need three verbs. Oh, it still needs to be less than five. Hmm. And you guys that are just joining us, next Monday is um, April Fool's Day, and we're going to have a shenanigans. I did not take the head off. It just, it accidentally just fell right off as if it was sabotaged. It wasn't an accident. I did not rip a head off of a dog. I would never do that. Okay, so we have that, and that is really cool. But wait a minute. Nope, there's writing too close. I thought I could do something cool. with this. I could maybe though. Maybe. No, the writing is going to be too close because this piece has a fold in it. That I have to cut the fold off. I'm not blaming Sir Preston about anything. No, this isn't going to work. This writing here is too close to the edge. Well, darn. Sir Preston would blame me for sure. Sir Preston, you guys, is my pet peacock, in case you did not know. And he comes and visits with everybody on Twitch. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, so we have that. Well, I was going to use it as just this little bit of a, um, you know, use the green behind this as a border. So putting something over it wouldn't have really worked. So I think I'm just going to leave this border white. I like it like that, actually, because the bunny is white. All right. Debate, smear, and and punch. All right, and then in a little bit, I will read that. Okay. Let's put this here. All right. Right. Put this here. You here. Me here. All right. I'm not a good Cartman voice.
Oh, I kind of like that. I'm going to use this on the inside because it's kind of cool. Welcome in, Michelle M. How are you? I hope you are doing well. This tape is really making me crazy. Happy Easter. There you go. I had these Easter cards for a long time and I just kind of just uh, found it. I had this little piece of ribbon scrap that is um, it's been hiding out on my desk and it just happens to be sitting here. Let me trim it up. Yes, that was Crichton. He imitates the, uh, the sound of this. Yep. This piece has a funky... Oh no, never mind. It was just a piece of lint on top of it. I thought it, I was going to cut this ribbon in half. Yes, that was Crichton making that screech, imitating the um, tape runner. Oh yes, he does. He sounds like he makes that noise too. All right, this there's a lot of messy stuff. I'm gonna have glitter all over the place now because of this ribbon. All right, I want that all the way to the edge there. I think that looks pretty good. Just as a little side piece. Yeah, we, um, it's not, it's not the smoke alarm, it's the bird. It's the story of my life. I've changed many, many batteries because of the bird. He likes to make that sound. He imitates almost anything. Yeah, he, um, he's, he's crazy. Do you guys ever watch Donna? Donna Unboxes, I think her name is, on YouTube. She has an African Grey that makes video game noises. I think it's her son's um, bird. Well, I don't know if he makes gassy noises. I'm trying to think the name of, of her bird. I can't remember. I haven't watched her show in a while. I hope she's okay. I haven't seen a notification for her in a very long time, come to think of it. I have these on my desk, too. Look at this. They really are the right color. Yes, Michelle, he does. He says, Ria. He says, Todd. He says, Ria. Go to bed at 10 o'clock at night, almost every night. Go to bed. Rhea, go to bed. And if I don't go to bed right away, he gets angry. And he will say it over and over again. He talks to Jonah and he says, do you want to go outside? Um, he is nuts. He does not say Jonah. He will say, oh, the good boy. He will say Bosco and Roger, which were dogs that we used to have. But he does not say Jonah's name. He's never said Oscar's name. But he, ha he does say um, 
the other ones. Roger and Bosco, he says them a lot. Although not, not as much now that they're gone. He does not say go get crafting. <laughs> he does not, but he should. I mean, seriously, everyone should say go get crafting. I might just leave that B because I don't know what else to put on here. I have that cute little bunny, but that will not go. It's too big. I will leave this alone the way it is. I have a couple pieces of bling. I have some of the flower blinged. Maybe I'll put some of bling in, in the smaller flowers. We need to teach him. Go get crafting. Triton, go get crafting. Let me get the green. I have some light green that will go better with this. He just said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if you could hear him. He is not right. That boy ain't right. There, so now we have all of them blinged. There we go. We got we got that one done. All right. We have time for maybe another card. Where did I put my Easter? Here they are. Let's see what I can do with this Easter. I have this guy, which is quite cool. These bunnies are so cute. I haven't used any glitter paper today either. I mean, I shouldn't even be allowed in my own stream if I don't use glitter paper. There's that one, but it's not that great. Or though, I could put this bunny on there. That bunny looks kind of cute on there. That, okay, all right, let's do that one too. All right, let's do these guys first. Whenever I say these guys, I always think of use guys. There you go, see? I had these pulled out and I had really all good intention to use them when I did the Easter cards, but I could not find them again and I just now saw them in my cart. They were on the second shelf up underneath things. So, thinking warm and fuzzy, thoughts of you. I don't know that I have really think too many warm and fuzzy thoughts of people but i'll leave it use guys use guys hey so you guys use the guys <clears throat> use the guys or if the electric company Hey, you guys. This is going to have to be big, too. I don't think it'll fit on a little card base. Nope, it's going to, that would take a lot of the background off. Unless I cut off the Easter. If I cut that off, right, that's the top of the card there. Then I would have to cut the side. I'd have to cut a lot off the side. But I could take off a lot of this bottom. Although, really though, if I take too much off, there is this, I don't know if you can see it. 
these glitter flowers here and here so I think I'll leave that it doesn't show up on camera but they're really pretty in person tangent we don't get off on tangents here that's some other show not this show <clears throat> absolutely never I don't get off on a tangent ever yeah it's gonna have to go on a big a big base a big base it's all about that base all right it's gonna have to trim up more but let me pick out what color paper um let's get the pinks to start it might now you know i think it's going to be that's going to be too much pink let me get the i would like like a turquoise blue something like that this color is what i was thinking of actually actually i was thinking of a, that color I also have that really thin paper, use guys, use guys. Come here, paper, come hither. Do not hide behind there. Come out. I have this paper too, but I'm running out of colors of this. I have this in the yellow. And the, this would be nice because um, it's thinner and light. It's lightweight. I've got the blue. I like the yellow better than the blue. And I think the pink, I think there's too much pink if I put it on pink. I'm going to put it on yellow. I like the yellow too, and I think this red is too dark. Okay, let's let's do the yellow. I need some of the yellow. Here's the scrap that I can maybe mat the inside with. Okay, let's do that. Put this away. There's not many. I don't don't know how to use zippers. Um, it's not very many. I don't even. I don't know. I lost it. Never mind. I have no idea what I was gonna say. There's not many something. I don't know what. Not many cards I use yellow for. It. That's what I was gonna say. I have stuff everywhere many things you go back up there I have too much too much stuff and it's stressing me out okay that's all right oh Michelle says her cousins were chosen to be adoptive parents the baby was due at the end of April, but was born today. Oh, that's awesome. I hope everything goes well. Tomorrow. I was just going to ask when they get to take her home. Tomorrow. Oh, wow. So special. Awesome that they're doing that, too. Very cool. Very cool, Michelle. I'm going to cut this a little shorter than five. Michelle, I ordered a whole second package of 100 Ohuhu card bases today. That is awesome, Michelle. Very cool. I'm very happy for them as well. Cool.
cool beans. You have to do sip and see. Is this sip and see? Oh, I made it too, too small from top to bottom, but that's all right. Is this to do with the baby sip and see? I don't know what that is. I love the card bases by Oh Hoo Hoo. They are like the best. If you would have asked me a couple years ago, would you buy card bases? No, make your own always. Okay, it's like a baby, baby shower when the baby's here already. Well, that does make sense. It depends what, you, what are you sipping? Is it tea or are you sipping, you know, other things? Since the baby's here, you can, you can pretty much sip what you want, I think. A traditional baby shower, you can't be sipping that kind of stuff. That's what I mean. She's not pregnant. So you can sip anything you want. All right, so there, that looks great. Let's get rid of this, the haircut. And since this paper is super flimsy, I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna stick this to this first. I'm gonna use up this tape runner. I don't like the other tape anymore. It is the, I bought two rolls of the Scotch brand, but it's the white one and it is the acid free. As you can see, the roll of tape is very white. I don't like the acid free one. I like the traditional you know, the one with acid that'll ruin all of your papers. I like that one much better. I don't like the acid free. I folded this card base a little bit crooked. Bring on the, you're right. All, all adhesive needs acid in order to work properly. No, I'm kidding. I, now the acid free people are going to come out of the woodwork and be like, Let's ban Crafty Rhea. How dare she say that the stuff with acid is better. I just don't like the way this, this is not as strong. And if your paper, especially when you're using like recycled cards, as you can see like there, there's a sheen on it and it's got a glossy effect. This does not stick to it very well. It's not very nice. It's not very friendly to work with. The other stuff is much stronger, I think, and it's much easier to work with. The Scotch brand. See, look, there we go. It does not stick properly, and it makes me crazy. I should just use it up. And I am not buying the acid-free one. I was trying to figure out why it was white. And why it was so different but I looked at the packaging and it's the scrapbook one the other one is more like general craft I think this one has yellow plaid and the other one has red plaid for the scotch brand I don't remember right it's decaf right this is my decaffeinated tape why would you even have decaffeinated coffee right I'm kidding for those of you that drink decaf, that's fine. This is the decaf. Thank you, Janet. That's great. <laughs> Do you have to pull off in a check mark motion? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm just. You know, way back when, when these first came out. I know I'm laughing at Janet's thing. When these first came out way, way back when, people were saying there was a real learning curve to using them. Well, I bought this guy with the cheap 
tape depot tape. And I'm like, there really isn't a learning curve. It works fine. I'm betting that they all bought this acid free stuff. <laughs> and you might have to, I might have to look at some videos to see there might be a secret to using this particular tape that I don't know about. But the regular one works real easy. I agree, Destalou. I I don't bother with acid free because they're cards, right? And even with scrapbooks, I'm not gonna live long enough. I don't have kids. I'm not gonna nobody's gonna care about my scrapbooks, you know, a hundred years from now when the acid kicks in. There's not a single person in the world. The check mark motion. All right, let's try this. Well, the whole thing came off. I don't know what they mean by a check mark motion. Maybe this way? I don't know, but now I have a big blob. Hold on, let me take the blob off. So maybe that way. I have to. I don't know. That worked okay. It is very weird to have to do that, though. Anyway, you're right, Janet. Pull up at the end. Okay. The cards, most people that get these cards are going to throw them away. They're not going to keep them. And if they keep them, they may keep them for time. I keep my cards, but they may keep them for a year or two. I can't see anyone keeping them for 50 years. Most people are just going to throw them away. And I have cards that I made years ago with the same things that I use now, and they're not acid-free, and they're still fine. Oh, nope. That whole thing came off. It's not that direction you pull. I don't know. I have to lift. Maybe if you lift it off fast. I don't know. It's too much work. I'm going to use. I have one more roll of tape when this one is done. And I cannot wait till it's done. I will not buy the acid free. I mean, unless it's super cheap. But I don't. I don't. And I didn't buy it because it was acid free. I bought it because it was, you know, the Scotch brand. And I thought it would be great. All right, what am I going to put on here now? There are some flowers here that are um, here and here, and they're they're clear. They're like clear stickles. There, you can kind of see them there. And they're very sparkly in person. So I don't want to cover that up. I don't know what to do. I don't want to put bling in the center of them because the bling will stand out a lot more than the flowers. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. I'm going to leave it. I'm just leaving that alone the way it is. All right. And then there's this one. This one could use purple, I think, because it has a little bit of a purple flower. So let's put this paper away. And I don't have, there goes my shoe making that noise again. I don't have like a bunny embellishment or something like that or a little mini Easter egg or anything like that to put on there. I'm looking around on my desk to see if I have anything. I don't have anything like that. All right. So we have this. It says for someone special. Okay, there's no better time than Easter to remember the people who truly matter. People like you. That would be nice. All right. With this guy, I think with the green, just the green and purple. I 
think. Because I have not used glitter paper yet. What is going on? It's almost as if someone came in and hijacked my stream and it's not even me. There's this color. I don't think I have dark purple. There's that purple. And there's this color. I'm thinking that one is better. It matches that purple there pretty well. This one is a little darker. I still think that one matches better. This one matches the colors better, at least in real life. Now it may look in the camera a little bit different, but in real life, that one matches perfectly. Okay. Yeah, this is the first one. All right. Matches well. Very good. Very good. Let me fold this card base. I'm glad I found these Easter cards. I was going to send out St. Patrick's Day cards. Have I? No. Are they sitting on my desk to send out? Yes. But I have not sent them. They're still sitting here. Will I send the Easter cards out in time? Probably not. <laughs> I'm just saying right now. I'm, full disclaimer, probably not going to get sent out. All right, so I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller than five. And I still have a card that I made upside down for Pedro, and it's still sitting on my desk. I have his address written on the front. That's as far as I got, because he caused me, he made me make it upside down. And my whole stack of them. They're still sitting here on my desk. I'm a total slacker. Okay. That is very good. And I'm going to have to cut this card down. No, it is. Yesterday was Susan's birthday. I don't know. Is it Pedro's birthday? I don't know. Maybe it is. And I missed it. Did I miss Pedro's birthday? I know. I'm a slack, slack, slacker. I'm very, very bad when it comes to slacking. Very bad. Actually, it's not really slacking. I've just been very busy. I spread myself too thin. Oh, the card I made upside down, I made um, for St. Patrick's Day. And I don't remember why we said I should send it to Pedro. But I, I made a mistake. He was in the stream and it was pretty funny because I really screwed it up. So I said jokingly that I was going to send it to him because I made it upside down. All right. Yeah, I've just been busy. I work full time. I stream here. I stream on Twitch and I do guitar lessons, vo vocal lessons, just kind of busy. Yeah, he liked the pug. That's it. He liked the pug. So I've just been doing a lot of things. And mailing cards has not been on my list. <laughs> it's, it's just too many other things on my list. All right, we got that. 
get all these little pieces moved out of the way. I make the cards. I just don't mail the cards. Yes, I should. You're right. That's a good idea. Even though it's a St. Patrick's Day card. You know, <laughs> I'm so terrible. All right. Got that. Well, I have an idea for some embellishing. Embellishing. For embellishing, yes. I have an idea to maybe learn how to talk. All right, got this. Let's put this on here. You struggle with those online group cards, not yet mastered it. Let's see, oh, see now if I kind of quickly take it off the edge. <laughs> it sprained my wrist. How'd you sprain your wrist, Ria? On well, my tape runner. I was, I was taping some stuff. That's it. It's an Irish blessing. It's good all the time. All right. Okay. Yes, this will be good. I thought about maybe popping this tag up. I wonder if I have a small green ribbon. Probably not. Not where I can get it. Hmm. I'm looking at my stuff to see if I have ribbon. I don't have anything handy. So we're not gonna we're not gonna go there. No ribbon. There are a lot of online card groups. Um, if you search in Facebook for, you know, card groups or um, like showers of cards, that sort of thing, where people ask, you know, for cards to be sent to someone going through a hard time or whatever. Um stuff like that yes I have donated my cards sometimes I have let me see there that will work I'm going to put this right over where it says that and it doesn't exactly match but it will be good enough for the interior of the card. I do want to open an Etsy store. Oh, come on. This paper here is glossy, so it is really a pain to um, put that tape on. It's, it makes me crazy. Regular cardstock, it's not so bad, but if it's glossy, forget it. Forget it. Forget about it. And this is going to be glossy too, so I'm just going to skip right over the, the pain in the butt tape. And see this one here, I don't have to do anything special. It just, it just goes right on. It's that acid free. It needs acid to stick. <laughs> All glue needs acid to stick. I know. <laughs> Forget about it. Do I want to put it over here or in the middle? I'm kind of in the middle. There's got to be something better than in the middle. 
That's part of the song that is stuck in my head. Do you know what song it is? By me saying that one little line. Do you guys know what song? <laughs> That's my favorite line in the song. You do. Oh, I bet you Samba, Patty, Janet, I know you do. Nope, it's not stuck in the middle with you. There's got to be something better than in the middle. Nope, it's not the middle, but that is my favorite song, the middle. Oh, my guy, my, oh, my guys, you guys, I can't even talk. Last night, I was, um, welcome in beautiful designs by Supreme not making a card at all there's no cards here have you seen cards here there yes Pedro it is one head like there's no cards I am not making cards whatsoever nope this is not a card stream I don't know what you're talking about there's no cards we are talking about these all these scissors that I have out today look at those scissors yep not a card at all Okay, a running joke over on Twitch is that every time Supreme comes into my channel, I am not making cards. Today she caught me making cards and I had to cover it up because there. Okay. <laughs> I cut you up. That's right. I don't even remember what I was going to say. I don't know what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh. One o'clock in the morning, I'm getting ready to go to bed. And um, I was, um, right, I was just looking at it. I was in my Discord and I noticed a private message came in and I look and it is from the Acoustic Bee who has a um, Twitch channel, Bry. And he played on the piano the middle and sang it. He was practicing and he wanted to record it and sing it and send it to me. I thought that was really sweet. I would like to get his permission to post it in my Discord because it is absolutely beautiful. All right, let me see. I have some black bling for his eyeball. I know, isn't it though? It is so sweet. I loved it. I thought it was so cool. Now he's played it on the guitar. Um, and he wanted me to have all the versions, he said. So he played it on the piano. Very cool. All right, welcome in Supreme, seriously. Even though we're not making cards, you're always welcome here. <laughs> yeah, don't watch, don't watch, turn your head. I am going to add some purple bling to this tag. Yeah, I think that would be pretty good. All right. Add another piece over here. There we go. Oh, I'm going to see if I can get some of this to kind of go around this edge. Mm, two pieces there. Let's put them there. That's just one piece. Four pieces worked over on this side. So I bet four will work on this side. No, that's too many. Let's do three. All right, headaches are no fun at all. Let's put two 
here. I like the way I talk to myself doing this. Oh, maybe one would be better there. Here, I'll put two here and one in the middle. In the middle. There's got to be something better than in the middle. Really, if you're talking about the song, there is not much better than in the middle. Should I put a piece there? Yeah, I think that just makes it look more rounded off, squared off. It is not strange to talk to yourself. Us crafters, we do. We do that. Do you talk to yourself in your head, Pedro? I absolutely do. I talk to myself out loud, as you can hear on my stream. There we go. Actually, no, I'm talking to you guys. That's what it is. There. And I think I will leave that the way it is. And we'll get out all the cards that I did not make. And then I will read the Mad Lib. You may want to turn away, Supreme, because um, uh, that's it. You're right, Ange. That is the song I had stuck in my head. And that is from the, the line from it. So we have this one. Taco shows right back always. When I'm going to read the Mad Lib, Tacos is right there. Got that one. I did not make any of these cards, Supreme. No card making here. That one, this one here was made with two cards. There was this one, and then this border was surrounding this piece, and I kind of cut it apart and put it all together. And this one, that I'm gonna try not to stick my fingers in the stickles. They're probably pretty dry though. And this, art deco-y kind of card there we go i think that's all the cards i made i didn't make did not did not make cards yes whoever made them did a good job <laughs> so anyway those five cards that's not too bad i feel like i made a heck of a lot more than that oh you know why because i fussy cut this it took forever Yeah, see, there you go. You missed. Uh, Pedro, Texan Spaniard, gave me the idea for this card. All right. Excellent. All right. So now we shall read the Mad Lib, which is the favorite part of the show for many people. Tacos comes in right at the right time. I'm not going to get past the first sentence. I just know. All right. This Mad Lib is from the Golden Girls. All right. All right. And here we go. Mad Lips. It says, thank you for being a caterpillar. The girls explain... <laughs> I can't even do it now. All right. The girls explain what it means to be a true friend. Blanche says, yeah, this one here looks heavy. It's not really heavy at all, but yeah, it is. It's a million, a million dollars for that card. I love the Golden Girls too, Michelle. All right. Blanche says, in, in the South, we are known for being damp, loyal, and gooey. Now, mind you, this is Blanche saying this, so, okay. Above all else, <laughs> you never glowered your friend's boyfriend, no matter how much you like him. Sophia says, in Sicily, some, sometimes the only friend I had was a quokka. 
I'm probably saying that wrong. And let me tell you something. They stink. They stink at being your friend and you and they don't know how to flip pinnacle. Rose says in St. Olaf, we learned how to catapult friends from a very early age. It was said that in years with a lot of rain, your friendships were like true silver. They would bite if, if you didn't care for them properly. Dorothy says, growing up in gassy Brooklyn, we had one credo debate, debate all, smear a few, and learn to punch your own canoe. But there are only a few friends you need in this world. I'm a, and I'm greasy to have found mine. Sophia says, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't read the last sentence. <laughs> I <laughs> You guys read it yourselves. <laughs> I mean, really, any words you put here is. <laughs> That's nice, Pussy Fox. <laughs> Too bad you all had <laughs> to wait until you were almost dead to find them. <laughs> okay. I can't take it. I do like Blanche saying, in the South, we are known for being damp, loyal, and gooey. Because that was Blanche of all people. But then, the last one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so when they make me, you know, sometimes I snort, laugh. Pedro. Right. I know. Damp, moist. It was very close. <laughs> yes. Very close. Hold it up again. There's the whole thing. There, you can see the whole thing on the stream. There you go. All right. Um... I do want to say, while Supreme is here, I am part of a new group. It is the um, um, Crafty Collective, and it's a group on Twitch, and um, it's just different streamers all around the place. I'm sure YouTube is included. We all kind of support each other, so um, I will, if there's a link to it, I will post it in... Um, the Facebook group for you guys. And it's also, it'll also be all posted in my discord. I just haven't gotten links out everywhere yet. It's just a collaborative of a bunch of crafters um, getting together, right? All socials. They have um, discord. We have a lot of the crafters have YouTube, Instagram, just all of those social places. So um I will get all of that posted around. You kind of get me on craft. I know I got to check into the craft roulette. I did do a craft roulette from uh, Supreme's stream uh, a couple weeks back. So, um, right, we're not even... Uh, Right, it is. This is a brand new collection collective of crafters. So you guys will be seeing more of it as I have more info about it and I start posting it. And my favorite number is twenty, and I'm number twenty in the group. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, there we go. The Crafty Collective. So you guys click on that. 
name and um, see if you can subscribe. And I will post, like I said, I will post info into it. You have YouTube. See, there you go. And Supreme Doom is, I believe, are you running it, Supreme? Is it one that you started, I'm assuming, since it's in your Discord? <clears throat> I got myself all choked up. Only a few minutes old. There you go. See, you're the first to know. You are, you guys are the first, okay, maybe not the first to know, but I'll pretend you, my, my people are the first to know. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, everybody. Well, thank you all for joining me as usual. I will be back here next Monday for a crazy, silly, um, um, April Fool's stream you don't know what what's going to happen it's it can be crazy i don't even know what's going to happen all kinds of crazy stuff i will be um thank you tacos wednesday night at seven on twitch thursday night at eight and sunday at two on twitch and um monday night back here thank you all i hope you all have a very happy easter if you celebrate Thanks again for um, joining me today. I appreciate each one of you. Thank you, Tacos, for posting the Discord. I also have a Facebook group. If you're not in that, please head over there to whichever one you enjoy the best, um, or both. Um, and thank you all for joining me. I will see you all next Monday, unless I see you sooner on Twitch. So you guys have a wonderful week and until the next video you know what to do go get crafting but don't make cards bye